Slain is a word that very well describes what happened to my expectations for this game. Slain was made by Wolf Brew Games and describes itself as a heavy metal inspired combat game with puzzle elements and gore galore. I saw this game a few months back and in all honesty it looked pretty sweet. The highly detailed pixel art reminded me of Castlevania. After finally getting the chance to give it a go, this game really disappoints and I could not stand it for more than an hour. After you start the game everything seems fine, looks so good so far, but entering the options menu will hint you at a bigger issue. There's only sound option and nothing else. So yeah, rebindable keys, not here. So let's start the game. You'll be treated to a short introduction cutscene where some ghosts wake you up from inside by calling your name and saving you from the dark. The dialogues in this game feel very poorly written and even sloppier implemented. I have a feeling the developers aren't native English speakers, but come on, there are random capital letters in words, some lines end up with both a full stop and an exclamation mark. Finally, when you gain control of your character, you'll encounter the next problem. The game never tells you the controls. If it weren't for the fact that I got some instructions in the press email, I would have not known quite a few things. Also, I used the gamepad from the start, but I've read a few reviews and posts saying how bad the controls on the keyboard are, and holy crap, unplayable. The gamepad is fine, but the keyboard support for this game is laughable at the moment of this video, there's a lot of delay on every input. After some not so nice words, let's say something nice about the game. Because surprisingly, it's not all that terrible. The graphics deserve a praise, and by praise I mean holy crap does this game look great. Fantastic and detailed pixel art that has this smeared gritty look to it combined with fantastic lighting effects and tons of gory particles. It just looks fantastic. It's bloody, it's gory, it's pretty fucking metal. Speaking of metal, the music in this game is pretty damn good. It's all heavy metal guitar tunes in the background, nothing too complex as after a moment you start to hear that it's a loop. It fits the game pretty well and gives it that dark, heavy feeling. But the game offers combat, does it not? Well, yeah, and it's pretty basic. It also sucks. You have a very basic sword attack that you can chain into a combo of three attacks, but I found out enemies have no problems breaking your combo mid-swing. The game suggests using tactics and being very careful, but the enemies have a very simple pattern of mostly walking towards you and attacking you relentlessly, so there's not much you can do. And if you time it right, you can just spam the first attack of the combo and block out enemies. You can also do this! Because the AI is really simple and the hitboxes seem to be oversized. That's another thing that I cannot understand, I cannot place my finger on how big the hitboxes are, or how they work, but I'm getting the feeling they're a little too big. You have a dodge move, but it feels completely useless, as most of the time forcefully hacking and slashing through enemies works. Hell, the boss on the first level took me literally 15 seconds to beat. It's bloody, it's gory, but there's no substance to the combat system. Enemies don't telegraph the attacks in any way, so using that skill is pure guessing. There's a general lack of any feedback for the player. And you'll hack and slash through enemies through mostly linear flat levels with some very basic platforming. It switches up a little bit in the second level with more platforming, but in general it feels very uninspired. The levels themselves look awesome, the artwork is awesome, but the design is where they fail. In general, everything in this game feels like it was made with no awareness of the other elements. Nothing seems to be built around working together, and worst of all, the game looks, controls, and plays like it was lacking some serious playtesting. It almost feels like the team had a lot of experience with graphics and music, but 
it was their first platform game. And I don't say this often, but the dialogue in this game is just cringe. I could not stand it. But to be fair, the devs have acknowledged that the game has issues. From where it will go now? Who knows? Maybe it's gonna be fixed, maybe not. In its current situation and form, I cannot recommend it to anyone. And if you enjoyed this little review, why not subscribe, leave a like or dislike if you didn't like the video, I guess. Yeah, I also do more retro reviews, I do more indie reviews and you can follow me on Twitter for updates. My name is BinTRG and I will see you next time. See ya.